If the bones in your knees are giving you pain, keep watching for instant relief. Whether you're suffering from a specific knee injury or experiencing a gradual onset of pain in your knee, this pain can be hard to live with. Musculoskeletal pain, like in the knees, can be caused by the cartilage in the knees wearing down, causing the bones to rub together and not absorb the shock like your knees are meant to, leading to aching, stiffness, soreness, and pain. In this video, I'll show you how to address pain in the knee that is accompanied by stiffness and even the finding of bone on bone in your x-rays. But that's not the only way I'm gonna help you. Stick around to the end of this video so I can give you a free gift. I wanna give you my Healthy Knee Guide. It's a PDF guide that I created to help you eliminate pain. But first I'm gonna give you a movement that you can do right at home any time of the day. First, you need to know that this movement is intended for a broad audience and you may require more specific attention. Also understand that if I was working with you one-on-one, -on -one, I would be able to provide treatment and guidance on all of the facets of your pain. There is much more that goes into solving your pain problem that encompasses your whole body. And I encourage you to check out my other videos for a more comprehensive approach to solving your pain problems. If you're experiencing severe knee pain, you need to seek one-on-one -on -one medical attention. Your knee contains cartilage called the meniscus, which cushions your femur, which is your thigh bone, and your tibia, which is your shin bone. Any damage to this cartilage like wear and tear or injury makes that cushion less effective. Let's get to this movement. For many of the clients that I see that have this condition of bone-on-bone -bone pain um, in their knee, there really is a significant imbalance and a significant overuse of the muscles that we call our two joint muscles of the leg. So the muscles that cross two different joints. The, those muscles in particular are overused, they're overworked, they're overly facilitated, and they tend to be overly shortened. And the net results of those particular muscles being short and over facilitated is that they draw together or compress the thigh bone and the shin bone. So they push together and put excessive force on the meniscus, eventually wearing it down. There are other reasons that this can occur, but in this particular instance, this is what I'm, I'm talking about, that overly compressed knee joint that Typically, there's um, a loss of range of motion, so they can't straighten their leg all the way. You can't bend your knee all the way. There's a, a deep ache to that joint, um, and it just feels compressed, and that you just can't get relief. And the good news about this exercise that I'm about to show you is it's probably the simplest exercise that I can ever show any of my clients. And it's in sitting, which is even better. So I'm sitting here on an elevated surface. I'm sitting on a treatment table in my clinic. And you really need an elevated surface. And for, for different people, that's gonna vary depending on what they have available to them. As long as it's a stable and safe surface for you to sit on, use it. So I recommend counters uh, to my clients. I recommend you know dining room tables as long as they're, again, they're solid and sturdy and can take your weight. Just anywhere where your legs can dangle. So once you're sitting, you try to get into, you basically get in a semi-relaxed position. You don't want to be completely slouched over. You don't want to be completely erect, just somewhere in the middle so it's comfortable. And you keep your legs really, really, really relaxed. And you begin to just dangle and move your feet back and forth, just like you're sitting at the edge of a dock with your feet hovering above the water. Just back and forth, small, small movement. It's not aggressive, it's gentle, small. Little pulses of movement, forward and back, they should become unconscious. For many of the clients that need this exercise, this feels uncoordinated, it feels almost impossible to do. And that is the point. They haven't allowed their legs to go through a normal use and, and non-use cycle during their everyday use. So this is about facilitating and getting the body to recognize what relaxation feels like. It also creates a, move, a movement and a moment of distraction in your knee as your tibia is dangling away from your femur. So again, sitting semi-relaxed, gently letting your feet move back and forth, do not be aggressive, super small motion. Eventually, you should be able to do anything else you want to and do this exercise. Talking to someone, watching TV, reading a book. 
The more time you spend in this position, the more relief you're gonna experience. This, this exercise takes a little bit of time to take effect. So think about at the very least spending about five minutes doing this movement so that your knees can start to gain the benefit of that increased space, increased uh, decompression in that knee, um, allowing the synovial fluid to bathe those surfaces of the joint once more. Uh, this is a very relieving exercise. Most of my clients choose to do it at the end of their day. And once they learn how to do it, they never stop doing it. There you have it. Be sure to listen to your body and stop immediately if you experience pain. Pain is your body's way of telling you something is wrong. As promised, I have that special gift for you. All you have to do is click the link down below in the description to get my free healthy knee guide. I would really love your help with leaving me some feedback down below in the comments. Let me know how this stretch felt for you. What struggles did you have? Or any questions you may have about the bone pain in your knee. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you can get even more pain relief and corrective exercises and tips. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend or family member who'd use help with relieving their pain in their knees. Until next time, take care of yourself.